Just a, just a real quick one. Um, as I think you should be aware, both Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch and other <coughs> have, uh, well, let me put it this way. There is a move afoot by some human rights groups to get the United Nations to drop Saudi Arabia from the UN Human Rights Council. Um, and in particular, uh, and I believe it's Human Rights Watch, has alleged that the United States could be complicit uh, uh, for uh, providing targeting information to the Saudis in Yemen if uh, the Saudis are found to have committed uh, uh, war crimes or crimes of war. Do you have any comments on this effort to drop Saudi Arabia, whether you think they should be dropped or not? And do you have any comment on uh, potential U.S. complicity uh, for targeting information? So we have seen um, uh, those reports. Or we're aware, frankly, of the uh, of the this uh, effort to remove Saudi Arabia from uh, the UN Human Rights Council. Um, as a permanent member of the UN Security Council, uh, the United States uh, is obviously resolute in its commitment uh, to strengthen the protection of children uh, through the framework that was created by the Council. Uh, and as we've said repeatedly before, uh, we remain concerned about uh, the effects of the conflict in Yemen uh, on the civilians there and especially on children. Uh, and we have uh, worked long and hard uh, to uh, get a peace process up and running. Uh, and uh, we continue to urge all sides in the conflict to protect civilians and comply with their obligations under international uh, humanitarian law. Um, specifically, uh, because we only have observer status on the Human Council, or Human Rights Council, excuse me. Um, I'd refer you to the UN for more details, and we don't have a vote. Um, with regard to your second question about complicity, um, I'm not going to speak to, to, to that. Other than that, we work uh, very closely, as I said, to uh, urge all sides to show respect for uh, uh, civilians and to uh, certainly not target civilians, but in, indeed to uh, protect civilians and comply with international humanitarian law. Even though you're an observer at the current time and not yep. a member, um, do you think it's a good idea to to boot uh, Saudi Arabia from that uh, from that august body? Uh, um, again, I, I don't want to, to, to weigh in on a process that, again, we're just an observer to. Um, uh, except to say that, you know, we want the Human Rights Council to uh, remain an effective uh, body. Uh, and uh, uh, and we do believe in, uh, in its mission. Uh, and we would hope that all members uh, to the Human Rights Council uh, would respect that mission. I, I just want to follow up. Sure. You say you're just an observer. Um, I think you're a little more. You're the single biggest payer of the Human Rights Council. You also took part in the election for picking the Human Rights Council, however flawed the democratic method of uh, clean ballots and, and whatnot. Um, so, and you, your voice still carries, I think, a little weight in the world, especially with um, uh, a number of Western group countries that are on the body. So. Uh, do you really have no position on whether Saudi Arabia uh, should be removed or not? From the, and, and Saudi Arabia, last time I checked, was a, a major U.S. partner, uh, non non-NATO ally, I think. Uh, so, um, well, well, they are. Um, look, I, I'm just what what I was trying to the point I was trying to make to our side is we're not a voting will not be a voting member. Um, we'll obviously remain active as an observer state. Um, and we'll continue to work to make sure that the council lives up to its mandate. Beyond that, I'm not going to uh, pronounce on whether uh, Saudi Arabia should or should not be a member. Please. Are you bringing endorsement for? A, I mean, you are providing assistance to Saudi Arabia in this conflict, are you not? And yet, you're not even willing to say that uh, they shouldn't suffer diplomatic repercussions as a result of this very conflict. What is that? Then why are you providing them assistance in this conflict? 
Well, again, Brad, uh, we've been very clear about our involvement in Yemen, and that is geared towards, uh, you know, and, and the reasons for our involvement, our support for the GCC, led by, uh, obviously, uh, the Saudis, in combating the threat uh, that it faced on its borders uh, uh, from the Houthis. Uh, but in every situation, in every occasion, we have also stressed the fact that all sides in that conflict need to abide by international law and avoid civilian casualties. Now, with respect to this movement, uh, with, re with regard to their position in the Human Rights Council, we're not going to comment on it, just not. Please. 